The main advantage of having a mechanical workshop in-house is the ability to build bespoke equipment and develop that equipment so it's exactly what the scientist wants. It may be novel, it may be unique, it may be uh, a small piece of equipment, it may be a massive piece of equipment, um, but we can help out. I've been at the LMB for 40 years, so I've seen quite a lot of change. So the main change is, is in machining techniques, so uh, not just the machines, but the tooling that we use. Things are faster, cleaner, quicker. Everything's just better. They give a better surface finish. They're better on all round materials. Um, and so we find because of that, we don't need so many staff. Currently, we're producing better equipment to a higher standard and better design than we've ever done before. When we have a job with a scientist, not many of them have an engineering background, so they know what they want to do, they just don't know how to achieve it. We can work with the scientists, come up with a concept, make a preliminary design for them to trial. Very often that preliminary design is actually what they end up with. We tend to get it right nine times out of ten first time. Um, so I like to go through the whole thing and actually start from the concept and end up with a finished product. It's quite satisfying you know, for us to actually end up with something that is going to be used. I've been involved in several uh, microscopy projects with uh, the guys in um, Nick Barry's group. So I've made uh, two or three SPIM microscopes, I've made an OPM microscope and I'm working with a chap now um, to make a flow cell machine which again has some very intricate optics. Uh, our newest piece of equipment is an EDM machine so it uses a electronically charged wire to cut through a conductive material which acts as the cathode we can cut anything up to 220 millimetres deep that conducts electricity with extreme precision. I mean, we're talking down to 0.2 microns. The reason I love the job is because it's so diverse. You can be in here designing and then you can be out there manufacturing the components or fitting components for the scientists. You learn a lot more in the workshop than you actually do academically. There's a lot of new machinery. There's a lot of stuff you learn from scientists which then become very important into your design work. I worked very closely with the scientists during a project. They would come down with the initial idea and then I would create the design and then we'd work very closely to finalise that design before any manufacturing starts taking place. The project I'm most proud of is probably the Plasmatron. This is for modifying graphene coated grids. So this was another big project. There's a lot of automated components, a lot of pneumatics, and that was quite new to me in terms of vacuum systems. So it was a, an enjoyable one and there was a lot of learning involved. Growing up through school, I actually wanted to be an accountant, uh, but outside of school, um, our family have a lot of vintage uh, machinery and stuff. And I do hands-on work on them during weekends, during evenings and whatnot. I've always been interested in taking things apart, strip it down, find out what's broken, why it's broken. There was a job at the LMB, which I took interest in because they still do a lot of hands-on machining, whereas in industry, a lot of the stuff is computer controlled now and very minimal human input. So one of our scientists would come down, and for this instance, she had photographs of the instrument. Uh, from the photographs, I had a few components that I was able to get the scale of the device. From that developed the, the CAD design into the finished product. One of the larger things that I've built for a scientist at the LMB was uh, for a cache. We made a camera tree for him and that was basically holding an array of mirrors in certain places to reflect different colour lights, to take them through lenses into cameras. For the mechanical side it was a lot of precision placed parts uh, that all would then work together. I was always interested about engineering. There's always new things to learn. There's always, uh, there's always something different we make. I'm, I'm, I'm now working different materials. Um, aluminium, brass, copper, stainless steel. Chris Russo team wanted to make um, an enclosure around the, around the mi electron microscope. The enclosure is sitting on the vibration legs. It's all soundproof, basically, inside. A sticker, soundproof um, 
forms uh, on the sides and even on the top as well. So it's very well working against vibration. I like the variety best about my work that, um, and also the facilities. We have fantastic facilities. You're able to take a project from start to finish and actually develop the whole product as you go. I think that's quite nice and it allows your skills to grow and expand quicker because you understand what works and doesn't work. We have a, a nice camaraderie here, you know, we all get along well together. We work as a team, uh, well, throughout the whole building really. If anybody needs one of us for anything, we'll, we'll drop everything and try to help someone and we know that they'll return that in, in kind.